Hey guys, Butler Bulldog Bill here, and uh, finally doing this video. Finally got my voice back. I was at the uh, Gonzaga Butler game Saturday. Long day. It was my birthday present uh, for my fiance. <clears throat> went to college game day in the morning. Then uh, you know we got some to eat. Went and saw IUPUI play basketball later in the day. Went back to Butler. Bought some stuff, walked around campus, went to the game, watched the game, and went on the floor. Didn't really rush it, but I got to go on the floor after the game. Unreal game. I mean, I have never been to a sporting event where it has been that loud, that intense, that packed. Butler holds 10,000 seats, and we end up getting 228 more people in there than what we should have, like 10,228 seats are basically on top of each other so it's a great view no matter where you're sitting I had mid-level seats right near mid-court facing the logo facing the coaches benches and stuff um, it's just unreal I'll never experience anything like that in my life especially with how the game ended I, it was so loud you could feel I mean they're not like metal floors or anything it's concrete floors and you could feel the sound reverberating off the floor um, through your body. It was so loud you could not hear yourself speak and I'm not even joking. It, I've never experienced that anywhere. It was the, one of the most awesome uh, experiences I'll ever have. But anyway, Butler, I'm sure you've seen the, the final shot. I don't know how you can. If you watch ESPN you have to have seen it. Butler won the game 64-63 on a steal uh, Gonzaga had the ball up one at midcourt, threw the ball, lobbed the ball inbounds. Olenek tried to break for the bucket to create some space between him and uh, Roosevelt Jones, but David Stockton, the inbounder, did not uh, expect him to go run forward. He was already in motion to lob the ball. Therefore, Olenek ran away from the ball. Roosevelt Jones came to the ball and in three seconds proceeded to drive it into the lane and throw up a shot. Got it off his fingertips at .1 seconds left and the floater went in and Butler won and everybody rushed the floor and <clears throat> it was I can't believe it. it was it was so awesome such an awesome awesome game probably the best of the year big game Gonzaga ranked number eight in the country Butler ranked number 13 Roosevelt Jones was the leader in this game 10 points on 7 of 10 shooting Kyle Marshall had eight points on three of nine shooting. Andrew Smith had seven points on three of five shooting, one of two behind the three-point line. Kellen Dunham, 14 points on four of nine shooting, four of eight behind the three-point line. Alex Barlow, five points on two of four shooting, one of three behind the three-point line. Chase DeGaul, seven points on two of three shooting, and all those shots were behind the three-point line. Cameron Woods, two points on one of two shooting, O of one behind the three-point line. And Eric Fromm had one point off of a free throw, he was 0 of 1 from uh, the field, and that was behind the three-point line, that shot was. Gonzaga has a big three. Uh, Elias Harris, Kelly Olenek, and Kevin Pangos. And for the most part, we shut down two of those three, and that's why we were able to be in this game. Harris had 20 points, Olenek had 14, Pangos had 5. Olenek and Harris spent some time on the bench, foul trouble. Um, Sam Dower, though, he was the big shock for Gonzaga. Came off the bench and put up 20 points. Um, other than those four, nobody really scored. I think Stockton had three and Edie had one. But that's where most of their points came from. And Gon uh, Butler's defense was phenomenal. Uh, making sure Olenek, who was like the leading scorer of the team, didn't, uh, you know, didn't get a lot of open looks. He didn't get to score a lot. Got him in foul trouble. Pangos, another one of their top players, like top two, basically. He couldn't get any open looks. He only had five points. I mean, that's just amazing right there. But Harris was the one. Dower did. They got their points. Um, Harris is just so physically so tough. That's why he was hard to stop. Dower was just left wide open. They didn't expect him to be the big threat that he became in this game. But uh, I'm just so excited. We did this without Rodney Clark, our best player, our leader, our top scorer. And... Uh, it makes me so happy to know that we can win games without him if we need to, win big games without him if we need to, and that sometimes willpower and heart are all you need to win a game. Maybe you can overcome the talent differential. 
Butler is, I don't even know what to say. Like, it's just so proud of this team, how far they've come. You know, it's pretty much a new team. They didn't have a lot of experience. But uh, look at the stats here. Butler, 50% from the field. Gonzaga, 47.1%. So we hit half our shots. That's amazing right there. Three-point field goals. Butler, 42.1%. Gonzaga, 28.6%. That's good for us, big time. Free throw percentage, something I wasn't very thrilled with. 52.2%. Gonzaga was 73.3%. Rebounds, we out-rebounded Gonzaga. Another opponent we out-rebound, 28-26. to 26. Turnovers, uh, we lose the battle yet again in that. We lose that one 12-7 to 7 to Gonzaga. But just unbelievable game, unbelievable experience. And I uh, can't wait for my next Butler game, which is senior night, final game of the regular season um, against Xavier. So really looking forward to it. But anyway... Still trying to recover from this game. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. But uh, you guys have a great day.